everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I am going to be doing a get ready with me. I'm going to be transforming into this beautiful, beautiful cream. I'm showing you makeup, hair, and outfit. Before I begin with today's video, please do me a huge favor and subscribe to my channel. We are almost at 3,000 subscribers. I'd love for you to join my family here on the internet. Also, please do not forget to click on the notification bell so that you will always get notifications of whenever I upload a new video. Without wasting any more of your time, let's get started with today's video. So let's start off my makeup. I have a love-hate relationship with my brows. Ever since I started using the black up pencil, this little baby right here, I'm absolutely in love. I can't believe today is happening to me. A film crew for a TV station coming to my house today to interview me. It's a, it's a big deal for me. A big, big deal. I'm kind of doing my makeup for camera and I'm doing makeup for myself for this video. So whatever I do has to kill it because I'm going to be on TV. I'm going to be on TV. <laughs> I'm going to take the ColourPop No Filter Concealer and use that to prime my lids. I love it because it's bright. So I want my eyeshadows to pop. I'm going to use this. I'm going to prime all over my lid. Today's eyeshadow palette is my favorite, like an all-time fave, even though they're slightly problematic. Afrik by Juvia's Place Palette. I'm going to do a very simple look. Today's look is very straight to the point and simple. So I'm first going to take the shade Cameroon. This nice warm brown right here. I'm gonna take it on my blending brush and pop that into this crease area. I'm so excited for today because I never imagined this would happen. My little old blog and me about to be on TV. I've been on TV before being like interviewed on like red carpets, but this one's like a TV show, a digital diary. They're gonna follow me around. It's insane and I love it and I'm so excited for it. So this is just going into my crease like all over. I just want it to be a wash of color there. We're going straight into the fun part right now. We are going to take the shade Kofi, this beautiful bronzy gold, and we're gonna put it halfway right like around here. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen two variations of this look. I know this look got a lot of likes on Instagram, the two times I did it. So I call this the rebellious cut crease. It's the cut crease that doesn't want to answer you. Then comes, I think actually my favorite part of this look. I'm going with this dark burgundy here today. The last time, the first time I did this look, I used red. The second time I did this look, I used blue. Today, I'm gonna be using this and I'm also gonna be wearing a matching lip as well. This kind of brush, this is a very, this is a crease brush that I'm going to use to pack this right next to the gold. And then I'm going to start shaking it a bit so that it kind of it blends with the gold. I'm just going to pack it right there. I make sure to deposit it right here. You know, sometimes I wish I could do my makeup and listen to music and film a video at the same time. But if I do that, I won't be able to talk because I have to like remove all the songs I listen to so I don't get like copyright strikes and shit. Alright, so I'm just going back in with some coffee so that that place blends really well together. With this, I am going to go on into eyeliner. I'm going to take the Maybelline Colossal Kajal Liner and I'm going to smudge it on... That, that lash line right there. And I'm also going to tight line with it. Then, mascara, Maybelline Colossal Volume Express. Best way I find to wear mascara is to have your mirror below you like this. And just look down. I actually love putting on mascara. Like, I absolutely love just like curling and fluffing the lashes. We're done with the eyes now, let's move into the face first. I'm gonna put on some primer. This is the Maybelline Baby Skin. Primer really smooths out the skin. And then we're going to set. I'm gonna set with the ColourPop No Filter. I usually set with the Maybelline Fit Me, but I'm trying to get to know this powder. So I want to put it through like my tests on see if it works the way I like to use my powder. It's a nice rich brown shade. I want to add some radiance to my skin today. So I'm gonna be using the Black Opal True Color Perfecting Primer before I put on my foundation. So it'll still come through, but it won't be as like much. Today's foundation is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid NW48. Foundation matching is so hard guys, like there's so many undertones and variables. Finding your match, finding your foundation match, I swear to you is what it's, it's a journey that if you're interested in makeup and wearing makeup and that kind of thing, you have to take so that your canvas, like your skin is like 
great so i'm gonna layer my concealers today because i really want nice flawless looking skin so i'm gonna take the maybelline fit me concealer in the shade 60 60 is like my skin tone basically i'm gonna use this first to conceal right under my eyes like that i'm gonna let this sit for Couple of minutes, check my phone, check my messages, blend this out. Look at my coverage, guys. Look at that. Wow. This concealer is so nice. Ooh, I love good skin work. I love good skin work. I love good skin work. I need to take a selfie. Now that that is dried down and looking nice, it's not time to highlight. It's not time to bring back some of the yellow. So I'm gonna take the ColourPop concealer. I'm not gonna use a lot, and I'm gonna highlight the rest of my face. While that is settling into my skin, I am going to take MAC Improper Copper. This is a copper cream base. It looks beautiful. So I just applied this to my cheekbones right here. And it looks so beautiful. So, so beautiful, honestly. I want it to look really nice and glowy. So I'm going to add some to my nose as well, like that. And I'm going to blend it out with that brush. Definitely. A very brightening concealer. This is concealer for people that want to brighten their under eyes a lot. Like the difference. I didn't even put a lot. A little of this goes a really long way. I think my mistake the first time I tried this was that I applied way too much. Maybe it was the powder I used that day. Maybe the black opal foundation powder is too thick for this. I am going to set my under eyes with the Makeup Revolution Luxury Powder in the shade Banana. Nothing too much. I'm trying to experiment with different powders to see how this concealer works. I'm going to set the rest of my face with the Maybelline Loose Fit Me Powder. Absolutely one of my favorite setting powders. Skin. It looks like skin. I'm gonna take the Yanga Beauty Candid Glow Highlighter. I've already opened it. It looks like it's an absolute little favorite little pot of mine. I'm just taking my big old brush lightly. Then I'm gonna do one here, one here, a little, a little on the nose. Then I'm gonna come back and blend it. We are very, very glowy today. And obviously, as we have done, we've put a little bit too much. So I'm gonna take a brush. I'm not taking a loose brush. I'm taking like a powder brush, like a packed powder brush to help blend that. And now I'm going to finish up the eyes. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take the shade Binta, which is the shade I use right here, and run it across my bottom lash line. It's very vampy, but I do want to brighten it up a little bit. So I'm going to use the Black Up Le Col Smoky Waterproof Pencil. It's in the shade KS07. It's a really beautiful gold shade that I like to use in my waterline. Just gonna pop it right in there. It's really going to open up the eyes because we use such a dark color there. So I just want to kind of balance it out. Then I'm gonna finish off by applying some bottom lash mascara. We are done with the eyes. Now it's time for the lip. First, we're gonna take the Zara Cosmetics lipstick pen in the shade Maxim. We're gonna brighten this up a little bit using the Clinique lipstick. I just love these lipsticks because they're so pigmented. They're actually really nice and pigmented. This is the shade Raspberry Pop. Mm, I love how creamy. And pigmented these out. Alright guys, so we are officially done with the makeup. Now let's move into the hair. But what I'm basically gonna be doing is I'm gonna be loosening my twists. I'm gonna be using the sheer moisture leave-in conditioner first. Just gonna start on twisting. Argan oil, just some argan oil, put it in a nice bottle and use that to add some shine and seal in some moisture. Alright, so we are done with hair, we're done with makeup. Let me change into my outfit and then I'll show you what I'm wearing. So this is what I'm wearing today. This is the Zara jumpsuit that I got from Swap Nandra. I put a belt around it so it can give me some shape. It's a really baggy. Um, jumpsuit. I love wearing it baggy and I also love wearing it like cinched at the waist like this I'm just also wearing a pair of black heels. I got these heels from Shoes R Us And this is the outfit. It's pretty simple, pretty comfortable, pretty inviting And I want to invite you into my home Come and kiki with me So that's it guys. Thank you for watching my video. I love you all. 